All right, so we're gonna jump in and do one of the QSP monster problems, I call it. Um, here's how you know it's a monster problem. So a typical QSP question is gonna ask, if I mix chemical A, chemical B, will a precipitate form? And we can use QSP versus KSP to figure out if the precipitate will form. But a monster problem will ask if the precipitate will form, and then they will also ask for the concentration of the ions at equilibrium, and sometimes they'll ask for the mass of the precipitate that actually forms. All right, so for step one, they've given us some information, um, and they want us to know, they want to figure out if the precipitate will form. So step one for these monster problems is going to be finding QSP and comparing it to KSP. So I'm going to first, oops, I don't want it to be that big. There we go. I'm going to first write, we want to know if solid MgF2. So my reaction that I'm really going to focus on is MgF2 solid. And when we put it in water, some of it is going to split into Mg2 plus aqueous and 2F minus aqueous. So we have some two solutions. Let's look at the first one. And what we have is 150 mils of 1 times 10 to the negative second molar MgNO3 2. And we have 1 times 10 to the negative second molar. So this guy's going to split into Mg2 plus. And there are, there's just one of those, so my concentration of Mg2 plus is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative second. And it's going to split into NO3 minus, and there's two of those. So this guy is really going to be 2.0 times 10 to the negative second molar because there's two times as many of those. So we have to double that given concentration. That NO3 I don't see in my main equation, so it's not that important. It's a spectator ion. Some problems will ask about the spectator ions, and the easy part is we take this as our M1 and we um, use the initial volume as our V1. And then we divide that by the total volume, which is the 150 plus 250, to get the concentration of the spectator, because that's not going to be used up in any way. So we can actually find that concentration now using a dilution. Um, this problem does not ask for that, but th there are problems that will ask for the spectators. Okay, so we really care about this guy. So let's find the concentration when everything is mixed together. So we're going to do M1V1 equals M2V2. So we'll take our 1.0 times 10 to the negative second, and there's 150 mils of that. Set that equal. We're looking for M2, and our total volume is 150 plus 250, so that should be 400. So if we solve for M2, we're really solving for the concentration of Mg2+, plus, which will give us 3.75 times 10 to the negative third molar. All right, that's one, one down. Now we're going to do the same thing for the next ion, which is the NaF. Oops, undo. Okay, maybe. All right, I think I'm ready. Um, so we have one point oh. times 10 um, to the negative 1 molar of NaF 
which is nice and easy because that's going to break apart into 1.0 molar Na+. Oops. It's going to break apart, excuse me, into 1.0 times 10 to the negative 1 molar Na+, and 1.0 times 10 to the negative 1 molar F minus. Again, Na plus is not in my equation. It's a spectator, so we're going to focus on the F minus. So to find the concentration of F minus, we're going to do M1V1 equals M2V2. So we have 1.0 times 10 to the negative 1 molar times my concentrate, or excuse me, the volume I'm using of the NAF is 250 milliliters equals the new concentration times the total volume, which is 400 milliliters. So when I solve, I get M2, which is really my concentration of F minus, is going to be equal to 6.25 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. All right, almost done. What we need to do now is we need to solve for QSP using maybe there we go using this concentration of F minus and this concentration. So if we look at the reaction, we're going to get QSP is equal to the products Mg2 plus and there's one of those and F minus. There are two of those, so that guy's squared. Divided by the reactants, but no sneaky solid, so no MGF2 in our QSP expression. So now we're just going to plug in some numbers. QSP equals the concentration of Mg, which we found is 3.75 times 10 to the negative third molar, times the concentration of F minus 6.25 times 10 to the negative second molar, and that guy's squared. So QSP is equal to 1.46 times 10 to the negative fifth. And they gave me in the problem KSP was equal for this solid was equal to 6.4 times 10 to the negative ninth. What that tells me, oh, oh, that's nifty. What that tells me is QSP is bigger than KSP because times, times 10 to the negative fifth is a bigger number than times 10 to the negative ninth. So a precipitate will form. And that is part one. Hold on tight, people. Two more steps. All right, step two is stoichiometry. Um, so we know that a precipitate is going to form, and it's going to form to completion. So we need to figure out how much solid is made, and we need to figure out one of the ions is going to be in excess. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to write that precipitation reaction that's going to happen. And so we're going to get Mg2+, plus, which is aqueous, is going to mix with two F minuses. And I'm going to just draw a one-way arrow because a precipitation reaction will go to completion. And we know that because QSP is bigger than KSP. So we know this is happening. And we're going to make that solid. So a little stoichiometry. Remember, we only put moles in our stoichiometry table, in our BCA table. So I need to find, before we mix anything, how many moles of Mg2 plus there were and how many moles of F minus there were. So for Mg2 plus, we had 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. Sorry, that's a 2. And it's going to be equal to X moles divided by the volume of just that um, MgNO3. So we got 0.150 oh 
liters. It was 150 milliliters. So that gives me 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of Mg2+. plus. Well, really, it's of MgNO32, but for every one MgNO32, there's only one magnesium. So we can just say that it's the ion. And then we do the same for the F-. minus. The concentration of the NaF was 10 to the negative 1 molar. That's going to give us moles divided by the volume of the NaF, which was 0.25 liters or 250 milliliters. So we solve that guy out, 2.5 times 10 to the negative second moles, and that's of NaF, but really we care about the F minus. So I'm going to plug those in for my before, 1.5 times 10 to the negative third mole. And the reason we have to do moles and not molarity is because these guys have different volumes. So we can't compare them directly. Like when we do ice, they'll be the same volume because they're already mixed together, so we can use concentration. All right, and then we have no moles of the solid to start. So to set up my change line, we know we're moving to the right, moving towards the zeros, because the reaction goes to completion. So we're going to use up some of this. We're going to use up 2 times x of this, and we're going to make x of this. So now we have to figure out what x is. To figure out x, we're going to take kind of do that down here. Find x. So we're going to take um, the moles of mg, 1.5 times 10 to the negative third, and divide that by 1, so just 1.5, times 10 to the negative third. And then we're going to do the same for the F minus 2.5 times 10 to the negative second divided by 2 moles because that um, F minus has a stoichiometry coefficient of 2. And we get X, or we get 1.25 times 10 to the negative second. So this guy is smaller, which means it's our x, which means the mg is going to be limiting in this problem. It's our superstar. So I'll make a couple notes about that. This guy is our superstar, and that means x one point five times ten to the negative third. So really, we're subtracting one point five times ten to the negative third. We're subtracting 2 times 1.5 times 10 to the negative third, and we're adding 1.5 times, times 10 to the negative third. So we, let's do some math. 1.5 times 10 to the negative third minus 1.5 times 10 to the negative third. That means we have 0 moles of Mg2 plus left over, which makes sense because that's our limiting or excess. Um, we're going to take 2.5 times 10 to the negative second minus 2 times 1.5 times 10 to the negative third, which gives me 0 0.022 moles of F minus excess. And then we're going to take 0 plus 1.5 times 10 to the negative third, so 1.5 times 10 to the negative third moles mg. F2 produced. At this point, if the question asks for the mass of the solid, we would just take my moles of solid and turn it into grams. This problem does not ask for that, but you would just do mole island using molar mass. Okay? Part two, done. All right, last step is we're going to do some ice to figure out what our concentrations are at equilibrium. So now we go back to our usual um, KSP reaction or our um, dissolution reaction. So we got the solid in equilibrium breaking apart into the ions. 
two F minus, we'll say AQ for aqueous. And we got ice, ice, baby. We don't care about sneaky solids. All right, so a couple of things. If we look at, the reason we did stoichiometry was not just to figure out how much solid was made, because not every question asked for that. It was to figure out which one's gonna run out and limit and which one we have excess of. So for this particular problem, I'm gonna kind of zoom in. We have excess of the F minus, whoops. And they, we found in our table, it was 0.022 moles. So remember, we put concentration in our ice table. So let's figure out the initial starting concentration of F minus, because it's not zero, because what we did is we made the solid, and now we have extra F minus hanging out in this equilibrium. So I'm going to take that moles, and I'm going to divide it by the total volume, which was 150 milliliters, oops, liters, so 0.15 liters, plus... 250 milliliters, so plus 0.25 liters, because remember, concentration is moles divided by liters. So when we do that, we get 0 0.055 molar F minus. That is going to be our starting concentration. of F minus. There was no excess Mg. We used it all up. So there is none as our initial, no excess. So now we do our regular ice. We're going to move towards the zero still. So we have a zero on the product side. So plus X and plus 2X. So now we get X and we get 0 0.055 plus 2X. So KSP is the same as QSP. It's the concentration of the products. So Mg2 plus times F minus, and there are two of those, so it's squared. And they gave us KSP for the solid MgF2, which is 6.4 times 10 to the negative ninth. It's on the first slide if you missed it. So we're going to take 6.4 times 10 to the negative ninth times x times 0 0.055 plus 2x squared. All right, so I'm not really in the mood to do a quadratic because this problem is already ridiculously long. So I'm going to omit this because k is small. So that now gives me 6.4 times 10 to the negative 10th equals x times 0 0.055, and that's still squared. Don't lose the squared. So now we can just solve for our x, and I'm going to kind of skip some algebra steps. For sake of time, I got this, 2.1 times 10 to the negative 6, and remember the unit for x is mole per liter. Okay, let's check real quick 5% rule. So we took away 2x, so 2 times 2.1 times 10 to the negative 6, and we eliminated that from the 0 0.055. So 0 0.055 is what it's getting divided by, times that by 100%. I got um, 0 0.00769%, which is less than 5, so it was valid. Great. That means I can plug in my X and we are almost done to find the concentration. So at equilibrium, the concentration of Mg2 plus was just equal to X, which means the concentration of Mg2 plus at equilibrium is 2.1 times 10 to the negative 6 mole per liter. Concentration of F minus was equal to 0 0.055 plus 2x. So when we plug in our x, we get 0 0.055 plus 
2 times 2.1 times 10 to the negative 6, and we get our equilibrium concentration of, no surprise, the same thing because x was not very significant. Woo! We did it! There's the whole thing.